Joyful noise unto the Lord and all ye land. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. And that he that has made us. It is he that has made us. And not we ourselves. And not we ourselves. We are his people. We are his people. And the sheep of his pasture. And the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. For my Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. And his truth endures to all generations. Be thankful unto him. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. Good. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. And his truth endures to all generations. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, our help in time of trouble. We humble, we humbly come this day before your throne of grace and mercy, thanking you. For the blessings you have poured out over us. Yeah, yeah. And for the forgiveness of our sins. Yes. We thank you for our health, our strength, our homes, and communities, as well as the means for providing for our families. Amen. We ask all of these things in the precious, holy, and mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And let the church say, Amen. 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 Good, morning. Good morning. I'm going to trade my earthly home for a better one, bright and bad. Christ and help to prepare the match up for us children in the air. And I'll join him in that land. Tis no sorrows can be found. When I receive a match, I'm going to roll, roll. Yeah. 
service we commemorate the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The portion of our service that we call communion of the Lord's Supper is now that we prepare our hearts and minds. At last into my Savior be empty my soul of
of his hands. There was blood. They nailed his feet and there was more blood. And then they raised that cross up. And as they let it drop into that hole, I can just see the Jota there and his weight pressing on those nails. There were more blood. Then finally they cursed our Savior's side. And the Bible said, forthwith came out blood and water. And there was a lot of blood. But you know, it would only have taken one drop of blood to save the whole world. Amen. So I know it was the blood of Jesus that saved yes, me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we are <clears throat> thankful for your love that you had towards mankind, that you sent your only begotten Son, and that your Son Jesus so freely came and died in our place, that we might have a right to that tree of life. We are thankful, Father, for this bread representing your Son's body and this fruit of the vine representing his precious blood. May we take this in the right manner so we can enjoy all the benefits. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. There's a fountain of free tears for you and me. Let us haste, oh haste to the breeding in tears of
for this morning.
morning, church. Good morning. Our scripture reading this morning will be taken from our Romans chapter 8, verses 22 through 26. Yeah. Maybe stand for the reading of God's word. <clears throat> Again, that's Romans chapter 8, verse 22 through verse 26. And it reads, For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together unto now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which also have, uh, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, have mercy. the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why do he yet hope for? But if we hope for what we see not, mm. then we do what uh, we then we, with patience, wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Let's pray. A dear Heavenly Father, we come petitioning you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this day, dear Lord. Lord, we come thank you for all the days bestowed upon us, Heavenly Father, from beginning our existence since the present time. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our health, our strength, mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, our thank families, you, uh, to come together, even collect the worship, mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, thank and just life itself. But we mostly thank you for your son who came down and died and we have you a true mm -hmm. life, dear Lord. Because yes. mm -hmm. through his sacrifice, we have life, and we have that life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. We are truly grateful for that, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, bless the sick and afflicted throughout the land and country, Heavenly yes. Father. Comfort him and watch over them, Heavenly Father, especially the bereaved, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. keep, keep them keep them in your mind. Keep them on your heart, Heavenly Father. Yes. And Heavenly Father, bless the speaker of the hour. Yes. yes. If you crown his head with knowledge, yes. he may impart to us, and we may impart to a dying person, mm -hmm. well, Heavenly Father. Because yes. we know they need it, Heavenly Father. Amen. And Heavenly Father, may we go to remainder of the service, Heavenly Father. Being the indenture service, we supposed to be, Heavenly Father. He's blessed, we truly grateful for it, dear Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. It's church say amen. 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 We're grateful to God today for allowing us to be here. We have a treat uh, today in the person of a good friend of mine, uh, Jesse Marat. Before we talk about that, I just want to say thank you to Kyle for coming and just sharing uh, with us in song. Amen. Uh, Amen. Today is a special day, and I want you to realize that you're in for a special treat. Uh, Jesse, uh, Mara, um, we go back a minute. Uh, I know when I first went to L.A., uh, they had what's called the Sing-A-Rama. Oh, yeah. And I saw this group come up, you know, with some swag. Yeah. <laughs> the group called Straight Company. Mm -hmm. And it seems like we've been running ever since. Yes, sir. And so it's been a long time. I want to say that Jesse is the minister of nine years at the North Central Church of Christ mm -hmm. in Louisville, Kentucky. He's a graduate of Southwestern uh, Christian College. We all love uh, and hold dear to our hearts Southwestern. Yes. Uh, but then after he finished at Southwestern, uh, he went and uh, uh, graduated from the University of Louisville. Okay. And so we are uh, in for and treated as much as he had. He's a learned man, but he has not lost his street edge. <laughs> he knows how to communicate with the hearts of people. Amen. And so we're excited about that. So uh, we're going to have some more singing. And then after that, uh, Jesse Morat is going to come. Before that, I want everybody to stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Yes, it's, it, it's good that everybody's here. And, and we are still dealing with the pandemic. Yes. Uh, but uh, God has been good to this country. Sure, yes. 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 He's been loving us and he's been blessing us, Amen. even in spite of our own. Yes, so we are going to hear Jesse. But before that, I want you to repeat after me these words. We the Lion Street Church of Christ. We, we the Lion Street Church of Christ. Exist for the purpose of. Exist for the purpose of. God. Serving others. Serving and others. every member of minister. Every every member of minister. minister. Take his message. Take his message. To the masses. To the masses. That's right. Right. Some more singing, and after which we're going to be blessed uh, by uh, Brother Jesse Mariah. Amen. Amen. Many times. Ooh, we might grow.
Somebody want to clap their hands. Don't look over at them like they're crazy. Somebody want to stand up and shout. Don't, 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 don't kill that spirit. Amen. Let them do their thing. I was preaching one time, and the right before I started, brother uh, Merwell and, and uh, the congregation was just going crazy. And uh, I think Brother Cal might have been one of the guys up there, and uh, and, and his lady jumped down the middle of the aisle, started dancing down the aisle. Everybody want to look at the woman. I said, look, don't pay attention to that woman. How come you ain't dancing? How come you ain't dancing? I don't advocate dancing in church because some of y'all start twerking and you know what I'm You can't do all that. I want to thank the angel of this house, Brother Merriweather, for the chance, the opportunity to extrapolate the truths that we all have been taught. And He's right, we do go back a ways. He's much older than I am. <laughs> but he was trained the first time I met him in Lubbock, Texas, at the Sunset School of Preaching. And that's one of the most prestigious schools of truth uh, in our brotherhood. And because of that, he has followed some great teachers and some street, teach, street preachers. And I noticed that his activities in this area uh, go beyond the borders of this these walls in here mm -hmm. and he's active and you ought to be proud and I know sometimes when guest minister come in and start talking about the preach the preacher people don't want to say amen yeah. but you've been gifted you've been given a man of God who 
who does more than just preach the gospel, Amen. but he's present in the community. Amen. That, brings, that brings notoriety to God's church. And I'm here to tell you that because of his presence in the community, you've been blessed. And people who have not even shown up yet, those seeds that he's out there dropping Amen. are going to someday germinate. Yes. And they're going to pop through the ground. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see more people come in and be a part of this congregation because... Your minister has represented Amen. Lime right. Street very Amen. well. So Amen. I want to thank him. He and his wife. You'll go ahead and give him a round of applause. You don't want to do that for him. Oh, I remember him when he was. Now, don't worry about all that. <laughs> Behind every good man, there's a woman. All right. Nagging the devil out of him. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't like that, is she? Mm -hmm. We go back with her, too back to Lubbock, Texas. And uh, they've been blessed. Children done a fine job, and we appreciate him. Appreciate his vision for this congregation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock, and Brother Cal said it best. In Louisville, we do stuff at 11 o'clock. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Preach. Amen. Turn and return. That's the title of this short message I'm going to give you today, turn and return. We uh, expect the destruction of some of our old men ways. And we anticipate the continued transformation of the people in this building today. Y'all know we're transforming? Oh, yes. You know, daily we're supposed to be growing, mm -hmm. getting better. Mm -hmm. yeah. To return means to bring or send, put back something to its rightful place. Mm -hmm. To send or to bring or put indicates that there is some force behind the movement. Amen? Amen. Amen. Something that is assisting the return. Romans the 8th chapter has already been read in your hearing, and I appreciate that. And brother, if you don't mind, one more time, Romans the 8th chapter, verse number 22. I'm going to need a couple of readers today, if you don't mind. Uh, Romans the 8th chapter, verse number 22. I just want to point out a couple of things uh, uh, in, that were read in your hearing earlier. Romans 8 and 22, what does it say? You might have got that yet? That's in the New Testament, guys. <laughs> Come on, brother, a little louder there. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and what? Travaileth in pain. Read. Travaileth in pain together unto now. Yes. So even then, the creation, the physical stuff, is groaning against itself. Mm. The tornadoes, the hurricanes, the floods, the fires, the famines. This is nature's imbalance. And it's all happening because sin entered into the world. It won't return back to normal until Jesus shows up again. Did you know that it was perfect before that? Didn't even rain. Right. Mm -hmm. That was a mist that came up and watered everything that was green. It was just a beauty. And, and then sin came in and the world began to deteriorate. Right. Mm -hmm. Not only was man beginning to, to die, but the whole world, the entire creation, started to deteriorate mm -hmm. and groan against itself. I told my son yesterday, we was kicking it, and I, 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 I was... I was out, and you, when, you, when you get uh, 35 like I am, you uh, you need a bathroom every every mile or two. <laughs> and so uh, we were looking for one, and every place I went in, there was a sign on the bathroom door, uh, Jared, you know, for employees only. How you gonna have a public public uh, gas station and it's only for employees? I went into the food place. The bathroom got stuff all in front of you. Can you? Things have changed in America. It, it, it stuff ain't like it used to be. Mm -hmm. 
And guess what? It ain't going back. It's not. No. The changes that have happened to us happened all of a sudden, didn't they? Right. Yeah. As I recapitulate and I, I think back, I reflect on the same time year before last. We've gone on two years now. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about the pandemic, so right. I want y'all to stay with me since he mentioned it. I want to talk about us and how even the church has changed. Mm -hmm. We have deteriorated mm -hmm. because of this pandemic that came into the world. But I, I, I can remember uh, about the emptiness that I felt. We started out in January, but by mid-January and certainly February, and then by March, everything was on lockdown. Mm -hmm. Do y'all remember that? Yes, we do. The emptiness that I, and I live by myself, so, and my children, they, they, they have their own homes and whatnot, but it wasn't an emptiness that I was feeling that was born of some sin or something that I had done wrong, but it was a feeling of being in a new place. Yeah. Something was happening. Mm -hmm. Something was going on around us for the first time in my life mm -hmm. and in yours. It was a new time. Yeah. It brought on not it was brought on not by anything that we did. That's true. But it was brought by the will of God. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. And if you don't believe that the pandemic was God's will, mm -hmm. you ain't been paying attention. Mm -hmm. Look at us in here. We, we, you have a good number here, by the way, for, for what's going on with a lot of congregations. Right. Do you know that a lot of congregations have not even reconvened yet? It's, true. It's, true. it's happened, and we have been affected by it. I know of a surety that Jehovah God, who brought, who sent, he sent, and he brought, and he put this pandemic in the world. Mm -hmm. Ain't no doubt about it. His full intentions in allowing this to happen. This coronavirus across the whole world is never going to be fully understood by us. Right. And I know in time, though, he will reveal the full measure of this COVID-19. Mm -hmm. It's foolish, though, to suggest that he is doing it to take lives. Do you know how many people in our, my own congregation died oh, wow. from COVID-19? God didn't send it to kill those people. It was a result of the deterioration and the thing that's happening because sin has entered into the world. Mm -hmm. It's foolish to suggest that he's doing it to take lives or to injure his children. No, we just a part of it. Although many of us have been contracted this disease, some of us have recovered, thank God, Amen. and others have died from its effect. However, God is not the God of death and destruction. That's I want right. you to I want to make right. that clear. That's right. He ain't there to kill people. Right. Mm -hmm. He is not the God of death and destruction. Right. I feel like I need to repeat that after everything I've said. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But he's a God of love. Yes. 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 And he's a God of peace. Amen. And just as easily as he can allow death, he also Next door to death can give abundant life. Amen. Just like he can allow sickness in one house. Mm -hmm. He can turn in the next house and give great, perfect health. Amen. There is sickness and death all the time. And every sickness and death can be healed. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. But everyone won't be healed. Right. There are people who are going to not be saved. But everyone can be saved. Mm -hmm. The choice is up to mankind. Mm -hmm. right. Just as God allows uh, confusion and chaos, guess what? He can generate peace and harmony. Amen. In the face of deep darkness, just like in the beginning, God can say, in a moment, in the twinkling of your eye, let there be light. Be light. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a God who can do just about anything he wants to do. Amen. He can allow and he can disallow. Right. I remember the effects, though, of COVID-19 upon my own condition, my own emotions. How businesses all around us closed. Y'all remember that? Yes. I, I'm going to take you back, and I want you to turn with me at the end and return back to God. Mm -hmm. I remember TV even changed. Mm -hmm. yeah. My late night 
guys that I watched, the comedians, they, they, they all of a sudden they were doing their shows to an empty audience. Yeah. Yeah. They were, uh, what, uh, uh, what's my, my main one? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Jimmy was doing his show and nobody was laughing. <laughs> TV changed. Mm -hmm. And he had no audience. Right. Uh, you couldn't touch people anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you did run into them, you just were hesitant about doing it. Right. Couldn't visit your own loved ones, right. especially the elderly. I'm going to remind you about what ha has happened to us. No hugs. Drive-through to get your food. Somebody, <laughs> some of them shut down. I know y'all mad about that. <laughs> the layoffs that happened at jobs. Mm -hmm. Suddenly employment wasn't there anymore. What you going to do? You didn't prepare for that. Right. One day you work, and the next day they say, don't come in. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the joblessness that happened to America was very impactful. The hopelessness set in. It, it, was, it was a reminder that things were changing. The visible, constant stuff all around us. God was doing a thing. Mm -hmm. I remember him saying, behold, I do a new thing. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's right. You ain't going to be ready for it mm -hmm. when God does something. Because guess what? He's always ahead of us. Yeah. Amen. The daily reminders, though, of our new normal was seen in the wearing of masks. We still wear masks mm -hmm. two years later. Mm -hmm. yeah. Crowded, overwhelmed emergency rooms were everywhere. Mm -hmm. I happened to have to go to the hospital, and a, boy, a young man walked in, and he had a broken arm, and you could see what was going on, and they made him sit down for hours because they had patients that were dying upstairs. Amen. Things were changing. The new languages that we learned, the new words that we began using, like essential workers, social distancing, I remember the strangeness and the streets, how they were empty. Mm -hmm. Hirschborn, I'm sorry, yeah, Hirschborn Lane in Louisville has been called one of the busiest streets in America, yes, according to the number of cars that pass through, so I don't know who keeps up with these records. But I was, I lived next to Hirschborn Lane, and I walked to the filling station and, and to, to get me something to, to drink. And, and then I looked down Hirschborn Lane, and I could see... Yes, uh, the, the, the street that was miles down there, and this was at, in the evening time, it started to get dark, and I looked the other way, and there was nothing. Mm -hmm. No cars, nothing. Mm -hmm. People were spooked and scared to death. You don't think God had something to do with that? Mm -hmm. Man, I, was, I got nerves. Yeah. I was a little scared. I started easing my way on back home. <laughs> Every footstep, I was looking around. I spooked myself. I remember the strangeness, the empty parking lots, and the ignorant people. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. well. Woo! The world lost their minds. Mm -hmm. Even the, the ones who should have been intelligent. How they were all of a sudden in Walmart mm -hmm. scavenging for toilet paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bleach was at a premium. Mm -hmm. It was the hottest commodity in the store. You couldn't, I remember they bringing out a, 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 a couple of pallets of toilet paper. People didn't even let the man put them on the shelf. They was grabbing them by the butt. Just, why was you pulling up all that toilet paper? Some of them stuck right now with just loads of toilet paper at home. But I never got that. When God sends his angels and he infects the worldwide human population, his reasoning for doing it far outweighs the four million deaths oh that happened as a result of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Four million people oh died from COVID-19. Mm -hmm. But one thing, one reason, one effect that he has initiated through all of that is an awakening. Mm -hmm. People woke up Amen. and realized, Jared, that they weren't in control. Amen. Men who thought they were so powerful had to run and hide. Amen. Even the president was struck by COVID-19. 
try to act like he was so tough, but the, the reality is that he had the, the virus. Mm -hmm. Everybody was touched by what God sent into the world. Mm -hmm. And he awakened the senses. Mm -hmm. He awakened your mentality to start thinking about, I can't control this. I got so much money in my pocket. I got so much money in the bank, but it means absolutely nothing. Because ain't nothing open for me to go and spend my money. I don't care how rich you were. All of a sudden, you had to turn your eyes toward heaven. Say that. God has demonstrated again his power over nature. He has reminded the strongest nation on earth that he is the preeminent authority. Mm -hmm. He again, in my lifetime, I've never seen anything like this. In my lifetime, to this generation, I'm talking about you and I, mm -hmm. he has instructed the entire world that y'all ain't running nothing. There you go. I am. In control. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am. That I am. If I want to be a disease, I can be a disease. If I want to be a snake, I can be a snake. If I want to be hellfire, do you know when God sent the plague of the, the hellfire, have you ever thought about it? Ice on fire? You ever thought about that? He sent hellfire down during the play. Mm -hmm. He's something else. Mm -hmm. I am yes, is in control. Yes. And I guarantee you, when that ice started falling and it was on fire, mm -hmm. people understood this ain't normal. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Demonstrated. He's the same God as he was when he sent them ten plagues to Egypt. Yes, wow. is. He's demonstrated to America. He is the same God when he sent them ten plagues down upon the Egyptians, yeah. mm -hmm. he meant to devastate mm -hmm. their economy. Mm -hmm. He meant to devastate their military power. Mm -hmm. He meant to devastate their rulership. Mm -hmm. God is showing that he's in control. And guess what? Mm -hmm. He did the same thing to America. Amen. 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 We just happen to be living in it. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Same God sent covid the coronavirus. And the same God yesterday, mm -hmm. same God today, mm -hmm. yes, sir. and he'll be the same God in the future. Amen. Just when you think that you've conquered mm -hmm. COVID-19, <laughs> a new word popped up, didn't it? A variant. Yes. And the variant, what was the first one? Was uh, Delta. Mm -hmm. Now there is a, did y'all know this? You've been watching the news? There's another one. Soon as you get a vaccine, for God is in control. Amen. Amen. He's showing you, you can't have an answer for what I do. That's right. Only thing you can do is turn to me mm -hmm. right. and return. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's showing you I am the Alpha Amen. and the Omega. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in this period, I call it a prejudgment. Mm -hmm. I'm most, can I walk? I can't walk. So in, in, in this prejudgment, I believe, and this is, you ain't going to find this in the scripture, but you will find it in the scripture. I believe that he is separating the wheat mm -hmm. from the chaff. Say that. Mm -hmm. Say that. Give God a round of applause. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to prove it to you now. Oh, it's going to happen on judgment day. Oh, yes. The Bible says that judgment must first begin in the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But isn't he showing us right now who the true worshipers are? Amen. There are some people who took time off for COVID and they ain't came back yet. There are some people who took time off from giving and they ain't giving again yet. Let me drop this right here for you, bro. I'm going to help that congregation, your leadership out for just a second. Why is it? Lord. That the churches of Christ, the ones who hold up right, right, right. the true mantle of God, mm -hmm. why is our offerings down? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when I talk to my denominational friends, their offerings increased. Right. Mm -hmm. 
during this period. Isn't that something? Has their teaching been that good? Or do those people understand the giving and tithing better than we do? Right. Mm. It was free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We took time off from God. And in our own, my own congregation, there are people who are using COVID right now as an excuse mm. to not attend. Wow. Mm -hmm. But oh boy, oh. <laughs> Black Friday? <laughs> <laughs> say that. Boy. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they were in there. Yes. Standing peeking in the door for it even open. Yes. Five o'clock. Yes. People right next to their faces, pushing and shoving. They got on a few masks, but Amen. no, they right in there. Go, don't push me. <laughs> Stop. Mm -hmm. They weren't worried about social distancing. Amen. <laughs> when they go to Walmart, Kroger, yeah. they can be in there with 500 ratchet people they don't know none of. <laughs> people coming from all over the city, from the gutter to the, to the, to the, to the and, and then you know what? They'll be in Kroger shopping for hours. Mm. Let's see, what do you want? <laughs> Can we, can we talk? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
We have not proven what is the good work in the presence of people who are watching us. Amen. We have not proven it. See, because when I wake up in the morning and I drive past a church, a denominational church, and I see the parking lot full, and I get to our place, and we're scattered about, we few of us there, don't even come on time when ain't nothing in the way. Amen. We are not proving what is the good and perfect work in the presence of people who are evil. We haven't shown what is the acceptable status. Did you know that we can do things that are acceptable to God and things that are not mm -hmm. all day long? Yes, sir. In the presence of our friends, we ought to show the people who watch us how to act mm -hmm. during difficult times. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about. We have not demonstrated this to our neighbors. And we shied away from showing them what is that perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. Did you know that when we become fully obedient to the will of God and we hold that up against anything they got? God's will will show up perfect every time. Amen. I'm talking to the church now. We are the ones who've been called out of darkness into his marvelous light, according to 1 Peter, mm -hmm. the second chapter. You are the chosen generation. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another whole sermon I could go into, but for the sake of time. You are the chosen generation. God picked your lifetime mm -hmm. to bring his mercy and his grace. They didn't have it before you. Did you know that? Right. You are the chosen generation. Right. You are the royal priesthood. That's who he called you to be. Since he gave you so much, since he's given us so much, he expects so much in return. Right. We're supposed to be the royal priesthood. Mm -hmm. The holy nation. Yes. That's what God has always wanted from the very beginning. Ever since uh, the, the first child was, was, was killed the second one. That ever since that time, God has been looking for righteousness. Amen. Gave another boy named Seth. And that's what started the righteous line. Versus Cain started the evil line. Do you understand that God has been searching down through the lineage of Seth? All the way down to Jesus Christ. And Jesus had to come because one man sinned. Jesus had to come back and fix everything. Yes. Wouldn't have had to happen. Had not Adam done what he did in the Garden of Eden. We are the ones, y'all, who needed to be showing the world how to behave in this difficult time. Mm -hmm. Have we used this pandemic for an excuse? Have we chosen this time to demonstrate what it's like to be called a child of God? When everybody else is going left, did you hold your place? When everybody else was doing wrong and chose and used it as an excuse, did you hold your spot? Mm. Did you declare who you were? Mm. You're a child of God. Mm. Have we put the real character of Christ and Christianity on display during this time? Mm. Right. Or did we fall in line and do what everybody else is doing? Mm. Do, are we the ones who are watching, the ones who are watching us daily, they are looking at us, don't you know? That you are, Paul said, y'all are, are living epistles written in our hearts, but you're read by every man. See, everybody didn't have a Bible back at that time. Mm -hmm. So the only epistle that they were looking at was how you behaved yourself. Mm -hmm. Even when they were in slavery and they were in, a, in great trial and tribulation, Paul said, you are the epistle that they want everybody to read. According to 2 Corinthians, the third chapter, God has asked us, children of God, to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. That mantle that we ought to wear. That, that mantle we ought to wear in the spring, in the winter, in the summer or the fall. We ought to wear it in good times Amen. as well as the bad times. Right. Carol, we ought to wear it during the feasts. Mm -hmm. And we ought to also be able to wear it during the family. Right. Uh -huh. We ought to be able to put on the whole arm of God, whether it's day, Murphy, mm -hmm. or whether it's night. Right. Wearing the whole arm of God is a 24-7, 365-day-a-week 
Yes. I'm sorry, a year. Mm -hmm. Activity. Mm -hmm. That's the duty mm -hmm. of the soldiers of Christ. Mm -hmm. Who's a soldier of Christ this morning? Mm -hmm. Who claims to be in the army of the Lord? Mm -hmm. But some people have gone a wall. Mm -hmm. yes. Absent without leave. Mm -hmm. It's time to turn and return. Amen. Isaiah 65 and 3, God said this. He says, I stretch forth my hand yes, all day mm -hmm. to a rebellious people. Yes. They just ain't going to act right. Mm -hmm. But guess what? God, he doesn't give up on us. Amen. I'm asking this church family and those who are listening online to return back to his love. Amen. Return back. Because he's still stretching forth his hand today. Amen. Amen. Return again to the duty that he assigned you when you first gave your life to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. To the faithful living that he's called you to do every day of your life. Return or our relationship with him. Build it back up. Yes, Come back to God. Rebuild your status with him. Uh -huh. Take your rightful place. Yeah. Return back to the God uh -huh. who made you. The God who transformed you. Yeah. The God who takes care of you. Yeah. The God who's on your side. Uh -huh. You ought to be on his team too. Yeah. 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 If your spirit's been torn down, return. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you've cried at night, the way to get your tears wiped away is to return. Amen. If pain has overtaken your heart and it's crippled you and disabled you, return. Amen. Things have happened in your life that have caused you much misery. The way the answer is to return. Amen. God has every blessing that you need in the palm of his hand. The only way to get it, the only way to get healed, the only way to get back to where you belong is to return to God. Amen. Let me re re remind you what he said in 2 Chronicles, and I need this. Don't worry about that little scripture. I'm going to have closing. In 2 Chronicles, I think it was the 7th chapter, in verse number 14. Let's listen to what God is saying. And this is God speaking now through the prophet. 2 Chronicles, the 7th chapter. in the Old Testament, y'all. 2 Chronicles, the 7th chapter, verse number 14. And on this one, I need a King James. I know you like the NIV, Jared. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But I want a real Bible now. Second ah. Chronicles, the seventh chapter, ah. verse number 14. <laughs> Come on, Jack. If my people which are called by my name. And, and what? If my people he, which are he, called wait by minute, my name. Wait a minute. He's talking to us, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, he ain't talking to the world. Because we have walked away. That's right. The prophet knew it. He knew it was going to happen. We walked away. If my people. See, one of the reasons we cry out. One of the reasons we in so much pain. One of the reasons that we suffer so much is because we walked away. Mm -hmm. It's time to turn and return. If my He's giving you the answer. The answer is with God. If my people who bring which are called by my which are called by my name, Christianity. Read. Shall humble themselves. If you'll just humble yourself, mm -hmm. give up your little ego. Mm -hmm. Give it up. Quit arguing with folk. Mm -hmm. Bow down. Give it up and return. Read. And pray. And pray. And seek my face. And seek his face. You just can't get on your knees and, fit, and, fit, and think that's going to fix everything. You got to do some work. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's okay to pray. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be praying. He said, do that all the time. Amen. But when you finish praying, get up now and go do something. Mm -hmm. Go and seek my face. Mm -hmm. You're praying to him. Now go and find him. You know where you find him? In that Bible. Mm -hmm. Read. And turn from their wickedness. And turn from our wickedness. That don't mean that you are committing adultery and you are killing folk. That's not what it means. It means the evil in our hearts that has overtaken you and you're bowing down to that. Mm -hmm. Read. Then I will hear them from heaven. He said, if you do these three things, he said, if my people will call by my name, would first go back to that object, if my people will call by my name, 
which are called by my name shall humble themselves. You gonna humble yourself and pray. You gonna pray and seek and seek my face. Uh -huh. And turn from their and turn. Right. Uh -huh. You do that three things, and I will fix everything. And I, will <laughs> I want y'all to get this. If you do these three things. God said, I will do the rest. He don't want you to just try to do everything. Just do them three things. Mm -hmm. You want to be healed? Do these three things. Mm -hmm. You want to be fixed? Do these three things. Mm -hmm. You want to be okay again? Do these three things. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the pandemic. Don't worry about who's in the White House. Do these three things. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about your employer. Don't worry about your foolish family members. Do these three things. If you do these three things, oh, and he's also answering the five W's. The who, what, when, where, where and, why. and the why. Uh-huh. The who? The what? If my feet. Mm-hmm. The what is the other is the what? Mm-hmm. You need healing. Mm -hmm. The what? So that you can get back to God. Mm-hmm. The when? Then. <laughs> he said, after you do that, then. Mm -hmm. The when is then. Mm -hmm. If you do your part, he got the rest. Amen. You want to know when it's going to happen? Then. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to happen before you do your three. Right. It's after you do your three, then. Mm -hmm. That's the when. Mm -hmm. How and where? Go ahead, read. That I will forgive. I will hear from heaven. I will hear from heaven, mm -hmm. and I will forgive their sin. That kind of tells me something. He's been listening, mm -hmm. but you so far out there, right, 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 right. your right. sins have separated you. Amen. That's right. You wonder why your stuff ain't getting. Now, God ain't on a mantle where you just pull him down and he can't give you everything you look for. No, that's not how it works. But when he gives you favor, mm -hmm. so I got a lady in our congregation say, Favor ain't fair. Man, let me tell you about faith. Personal. Yeah. You ever been watching TV? And, and, and like, I, I'm, maybe some of y'all ain't been through this because y'all got money. But I'm watching TV, right? And, and, and my fan is going, it's summertime, it's blistering hot outside. And man, I watch TV and I'm going to kick back, I got my little snacks, and all of a sudden, click! My TV went off. Yeah. My fan went off. Mm -hmm. I looked over the clock and it was off. I said, maybe, maybe I'm overloading the system. So I went to my fuse box. <laughs> All the fuses was in the same place. <laughs> then I heard a car door slam. I went to the window. There was that little man with that little tool he got. He cut off my electricity. <laughs> this was during the pandemic. I looked over at the table at my pile of LG and E bills. I said, I know they didn't cut off my electricity like that. So I'm knocking on the window. They ain't come back. It's a pandemic. Don't go. I ain't got no money. I called downtown. You owe 2700 and something dollars. How much can you pay today? <laughs> uh, how much will it cost to get my stuff back on? <coughs> 500. I ain't got no 500 up. Right, right, right. And it's too hot. Mm -hmm. Start praying. They say you can go this agency, this agency, this agency. Mm -hmm. That was the answer. Right. See, I had to go do something mm -hmm. after my prayer. Right. I could have prayed and just sat in my chair and sweated and looked like an idiot waiting on this stuff to just come back on. But that ain't the way it's going to happen, is it? No, I had to go and do something. So after I prayed, I went to all them agencies, and I got the one. They said, we'll pay $1,700 for it. I said, that's just enough right there. Amen. Cut my stuff back on. Amen. I ain't paid them since, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. Watch out for you. Then I will hear from heaven. I will hear from heaven. Read. And will forgive their sin. Because the reason why you are out there is because you are in sin. Mm -hmm. right. Humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Accept it. I told you we're looking for more transformation today. Amen. Mm -hmm. Look at yourself. Don't try to throw your hands up like you got it all together. Right. 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 
You sin all the time. Go ahead and return. Mm -hmm. Turn, repent, and return back to God. Amen. Read. And will heal their land. You want to be healed? That's how it's going to get done. And the only person who can do it is God and God alone. Okay. You've heard his word. You believe it? Yes. It's true. Mm -hmm. Repent of sin. That's one of the tenets right there. You got to do it. Repentance ain't so easy, though. See, I don't want to try to throw these five things out there like it's just something you just all of a sudden do. No. Repentance, true repentance, takes time. Yeah. And when you're having a hard time, and I'm talking to my, my family now, when you're having a hard time repenting, don't try to act like you can just repent. You can get, you know, something you really enjoy doing out there and you know it's wrong. It's hard to turn from that. Yeah. You're going to have to ask God for repentance. Did you know that God will send you repentance? Mm -hmm. He will. He'll help you with that thing. Amen. It may not happen overnight. And church leaders, give these people a chance to repent. Yes, right. 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 And return. Go back to God. And he'll heal you. He'll heal your land. He'll heal your house. He'll heal your family. He'll heal your bank account. Amen. 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 If you just turn and return. Amen. Repent, confess, and be baptized, and that's how you be added to the, to, to the family with the, a family of ones he called my people. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done that, you need to do that today. Start your transformations today as we stand and give you an invitation song. Today is your day. Amen.